Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of easy tips that's going to allow you to learn how to code quickly and easily. So tip number one, you want to do a little bit of coding every day. Don't stress yourself out because if you stress yourself out as you're learning to code, if you stress yourself out in any way beyond what you should, the brain is going to associate negative feelings with coding, which is going to be counterproductive. You want to associate good feelings with coding. So you don't want to overdo it. Two to three hours a day is probably the average amount of input you want to put into learning to code. Tip number two, the brain will prioritize that which it is exposed to more often than not. So the more you expose yourself to coding, meaning do a little bit every day, even if you just do 20 minutes one day, just write a little bit of code, a couple of lines here and there, what you're gonna find as you write code, it's important that you write the code, as you write more and more code, even if it's just little snippets every day, 10, 20 minutes, your brain is gonna more quickly assimilate and understand the code in a logical, in a deeper way, and you're going to have more of those aha moments. Oh man, I understand this. I understand this. The key is frequency of exposure. The more often you write code, the more quickly and easily you will understand it. That doesn't mean to kill yourself. That doesn't mean you do eight hours a day. Even if you do one day, you do an hour. Next day, you do 20 minutes. Next day, you do two hours. Next day, you do an hour. Next day, you do three hours. Next day, you do 20 minutes. It's important frequency, the number of exposures will have a huge impact in terms of how quickly you learn how to code. This is based on the psychology of learning. Uh, again, I've mentioned in other videos, my major in university was psychology. I'm not a psychologist, I didn't graduate, but I know about learning theory and so on. Trust me, it works. That's why I've engineered my courses in that way. A little bit every day goes a long way. Don't overstress yourself, drink lots of water, Give yourself rest periods, make it a relaxing process, make it an easy process uh, so it's pleasant. There'll be some resistance points, there'll be points where you're writing, you don't understand. You power through that just a little, but when you start getting headaches or you start getting really frustrated, time to walk away, time to take a break. Again, frequency of exposure is the thing I want to, I want to emphasize here. A little every day will have a huge impact, magical impact. Don't sit there and just read books or passively watch videos. Actually write a little bit of code every day. Whether you, you uh, use my platform, Studio Web, or use uh, something like a code pen, you go in there, try little examples, mess around with things. One of the things I teach, for example, once you get a, a bit of JavaScript or a bit of Python or a bit of HTML or CSS, whatever it is you're coding in, once you get the snippet of code to work where, hey, it works. Then I want you to break it, watch the error message that comes up and then fix it again. What will happen then is that you'll start to understand what errors cause what error message is. And it's gonna become easier and easier to start debugging, start figuring out why the code is not working. So that's another tip there. Once you get your code to work, break it, watch the error message appear look at that error message, fix it, and you start seeing a pattern. And again, frequency, the more often you expose your brain to coding, the better and more quickly and more easily you're gonna understand it in a better way, in a profound way. And again, you have to give yourself rest. Don't think you can do five hours one day and take five days off, that's no good. You're much better off to do half an hour, 40 minutes a day, five days in a row, take a day off, and then do it again, an hour, half an hour, an hour, half an hour, even 20 minutes in a day. Trust me, that frequency of exposure is key. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.